and welcome to a Smurf P video and today once again I'm very excited to have a free zero product and uh, we are looking at the brew uh, the brew the blue ranger <laughs> I haven't had enough coffee clearly this morning so we got the nice mighty morphin power ranger logo in the side beautiful artwork of Billy Cranston triceratops sign there in some gold kind of colorish stuff free zero down there Fig zero down there. I don't know what that actually means. On the side, pretty much still. Just get out of my own own way. <laughs> and we got all the way down the side there. And we got some gump there. And then up there, we got that beautiful, beautiful uh, promo shot on the back. On the top, we have pretty much what you would expect. And this side as well. And also this side. We see that this is free Z. I actually thought it said 32, so I got kind of excited like it's a 32 figure, but it's not. And then inside, ugh, we have another promo shot. And I haven't got so excited this time that I got him out of the box in preparation, like I usually do, mainly because it was late. But let's get him out now. All right, here is the gorgeous Blue Ranger in all his glory. So, first uh, up, we have instruction sheet now i wanted to show this privy because it shows you how to uh take the two lances and create the bigger lance which is cool it also shows you how to create the power blaster which i will do i i suspect i will be doing red ranger last so look out for that figure if you are wanting to see the power blaster so in terms of billy himself um i'm always going to say this i'm very disappointed that we have not got uh, a Billy head. Maybe it was they couldn't get the rights or the fact that, that they would have had to give royalties to those actors that would have bumped this price right up. So to see profit paying off those who create this masterpiece and royalties. And I'm sure they have to give something to Hasbro as well when they sell them. So, you know, and the fact that these are coming in at present, I've I noticed that the last couple that have been released, the prices have gone up, but I'm not sure if that's because they've got um, more specific requirements to create them. Whereas this was f generally five ranges, pretty much all the same apart from the helmets. So maybe that kept cost down. Plus a, a massive, massive... Um, production it, it sold very well um, the fact that I don't think these are very rare to still get from a distributor so once again I like the the helmets one thing that I, I find weird slightly is the the emphasis on the black lines but I'm not averse to it it does work in terms of how it looks it's just um, something that wasn't there I've also got the white line in at the top of the visor once again I'm not sure if that was there as well but as you can see it does look very very nice very clean very impressive and I'm very happy with it and then you got the little mass mouth piece as well which also has the the silver and it does look like it's white but it is actually silver so coming to the beautiful beautiful cloth so you got this which is like um this will be the material you think it is for a glove and then you got this which is sort of cloth clothy etc got the power range morpher which i sometimes wish would come off or they created another accessory i know that sounds a bit weird because when they were morphed they never messed around with their morphers after that but um hey it is what it is you can see the lines where they have joined up the, the cloth but that's that that was always going to happen um i don't find it a big deal that it's like that and then we got the beautiful boots and now the boots and the hands are sort of like hard plastic but you could see that there is a difference in tone between this and this this is a bit more sparkly whereas this is pretty a, more matte and then even a difference between the helmet and the body and that piece as well so I, I don't for me it's not a deal breaker underneath there you get Hasbro endorsing in 2021 three zero there 
and then on the back pretty much same all the way through nice buttocks you have this belt and I think if you I'm not gonna do it but I believe you could take the belt off here if you really wanted to I'm not going to and then you got the two connections at the back which are pretty cool so looks pretty awesome I'm a I'm a massive fan of these figures and once again I almost didn't do this um, almost um, didn't do this because of they were expensive and you I was lucky comics cutters who I brought the the five core from um, they they allowed me to pay for it over six months I could probably uh, apologies for that uh, my wife decided to uh, call me mid 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 review um, to take some water out of the freezer um, <laughs> Things you do uh, during a review. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I probably could have paid it cheaper if I jumped on the bandwagon right at the beginning. Um, they would have perhaps allowed uh, smaller payments over a longer period of time. But I didn't jump on to it, I think, till the summer. And I was probably a bit desperate. And I was quite comfortable. It wasn't that bad. I think it was like £75 a month. Um, which I think is pretty, pretty darn awesome. And I bought them individually. As you can tell, I did buy the big box set. I feel like I would have been thinking as a review, I probably would have been a bit disappointed if I had brought it as the big box set because then I would have only done one review instead of doing the six that I've done. Come on. You are not playing ball, are you? There we go. So... The lance is absolutely stunning, and then you gently pull this bit, which um, will allow you to connect it with the other one in a minute, which I will do. It also comes with six different hands. So he's got two fist hands, which I would not probably put on. He has the karate chop hands or the uh, haya, whatever hand, and then the, the holding of weapons hands which I am definitely going to be using in this review. So once again, the peg comes off like this. I am not a fan of these pegs. I do not like them. They are horrid. And they really hurt your hands as well when you try to separate them. So not a fan of that um, still. Um, and maybe Free Zero will uh, improve that part. I'm not sure. Who knows? Um, I certainly don't. Ow, that really hurt, man. Um, <laughs> so, who knows what will happen in the future with these pegs. Um, but they, they work. I'm just not a fan of them coming out like that at all. They do bug, bug me. They bug me a lot. So, next up, what have we got? What have we got? I'm jumping from things now. So, we have the Blade Blaster. So... You may have seen this already, but I'm I'm trying to do this so you can you can carefully sit so you can pull that down like that and push that forward like that. And you create the gun, which is beautiful. Absolutely awesome. And then once again, just carefully bring that back first and connect that there. Now there is, you can see under there the little bit which is the blade blaster blade. Um which um is very hard to get out um, so I usually use um, some nail scissors or very carefully just to just to prod it a little bit without trying to damage it and there you can see it it's just um, once again just be very careful it's a very very thin piece come on very thin piece but that is a beautiful beautiful weapon I love what they've done with it the fact that it is one piece it is not a, the biggest piece in the world so for them to have achieved it is a pretty pretty special I do like that a lot and then uh, next up we've got the other I'm sorry I keep bumping my fingers I'm bringing it in close Got the other piece, and then we just do that, and then, and then, I'm sorry, I'm knocking my finger all over the place, you just connect it like that, 
now, so I connect it properly. So let's move him back a bit so you can see. Move back a little bit more so you can see him holding that. So you can see that is quite a nice size. This is what Hasbro should have done with theirs. That is a decent size that you're going to be able to get him to hold that. So fabulous job, uh, Free Zero. I'm not sure if Hasbro had much of an input on this. Um, it will perhaps be interesting to find out. Before we finish this, I will let him hold this. Um, one thing I just wanted to mention, the Blade Blaster's point isn't ridiculously hard, but some of you who may have watched my White Ranger will remember my horror when Sabas almost uh, cut the, the fabric off the White Ranger's uh, costume. So just be, be wary of that. So in terms of articulation, his head can go all the way around. Not that you would do that. Can look down that much with the neck and up that much. Which also, the arm can go up and down. And then I wouldn't, you could never get it around because the fabric sort of impeaches that. The arm can go up that far and straight. The wrist, as always, you can move it around, but you got to be careful because it's just slits, sit, not slits, sits in certain positions. There is rotation on there, but once again, don't stress your fabric. Very important. And the same with if you're doing this, you can't stretch the fabric, you will rip it. So be very careful. And then we've got a double joint on the leg. And we do have movement there. And whoopsie there's a not much movement on the top of there. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's all coming off. So you can take these bits off if you want. If you want. I certainly would not. But I mean you can if you want. Let me go find myself a boots. I'm like Cinderella on the review. Go. So he does have some nice articulation, not articulation that I would reuse, and I would once again try and keep it very simple, very simple in terms of how he looks. Okay, so just to wrap it up, here is him holding the lance as a whole. Just wanted you to see how that looks. And um, I guess my, my only concern is you have to be very careful how you're posing this. So you're going to be limited by the restrictions with the, the hands and the arms. Um, so once again, just, just be careful in what you're doing. Take your time with it. Um, some poses don't automatically work, for example. So just be careful. So, for example, the hand pops off very easily. So, that makes it um, frustrating for when you're doing things because it can pop off several times once you're doing things in motion. You see what I mean? I hope that makes sense anyway. Um, and then here they are just separated. Let me just take the hand off because it's easy to get it on. Get the hand off. And there they just are separated and once again they just look they just look very very cool very delightful and they've done they've done a really good really good job in creating these and getting it to a place that really does represent what we as fans want to see and um, I'm, I'm glad that uh, free zero had the the opportunity and and agreed the, the contracts to go do this rather than um, it be something like Hot Toys because Hot Toys you're looking at free 400 quid um, that's that's how they roll whereas this is a decent size good quality my only gripe which I've said many times is the would have been the face of these characters I would have loved to see them helmetless um, also I would have um, the articulation, the hands are, are probably my biggest gripe, but they are workable. They are workable. So anyway, I hope you like my video. Please support my channel by subscribing. I'd really appreciate that. Make sure you look after yourself. Very important and embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.